Hello. Hey, I enjoy history, especially Seventh-day Adventist history. And sometimes when we think about history in the Seventh-day Adventist church, we're thinking Battle Creek, the sanitarium up in, in Michigan. But in the Carolina Conference, we actually have some history here uh, that can be seen up on the second floor outside of our workroom. We've got a picture in one of the pews from up in Dutch Creek, the Valley Cruces Church. That's one of the first Seventh-day Adventist communities in the South. And the story goes that there was a family that received some Adventist literature in the 1870s, probably 1874, 1875. And then the first Adventist pastor came to that community in the 1880s. Now, as look on the bottom of the picture, it shows that the church was dedicated in 1882. So just from that initial literature to the pastor, to that congregation being able to meet together um, up in Dutch Creek, Valley Cruces Seventh-day Adventist Church in North Carolina. Then right below here, we've got a pew from the original church. So this pew is probably gonna be somewhere 120 some years old. And if you look on the very back of it, the back piece of wood is over 15 inches wide. Uh, so it's exciting to see a pew that Adventist pioneers here in the Carolinas were using uh, more than 120 years ago. It's also a story that, that Ellen White, on her way to the 1909 General Conference session, stopped in Asheville, North Carolina to visit this area. She also visited the communities of Fletcher and then up to Valley Cruces um, on her way to the General Conference session that year. There was a bell in the second church that has since moved on to, to Banner Elk. So that bell is also available along with the pew. But within the Carolina Conference, we do have some Adventist history, and it's exciting to see how the Lord has led over the years for our churches here in North Carolina and South Carolina.